Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Five Heart Run. Five hearts up there. Dungeon levels one, two, and three are beat. On the plus side, while I was not recording, I went back and got an extra key. I got one more key, and I got the silver boomerang, so we got that to play with now. I did all those things off camera. Save a little time. So now we can go right into level four. See if any of these guys have a bomb. They can bomb drop. They can, but they didn't feel like it today. Blue guys can bomb drop. Um, some Those little spinny helicopter guys don't, I believe. These guys are blue. I doubt they ever drop bombs. If you kill 16 enemies in a row without getting hit, you get a fairy. I don't know if that's what that was, but just mentioning it. It can also be random. I've been on a screen where I kill two enemies and both of them give me a fairy, so... There's still plenty of randomness to this game. Just use the raft to get up here to level 4. So this one... This dungeon can definitely cause me a problem. Um, without even probably the two extra hearts I would have by now if I was playing this casually. Alright, here's another wall clip here. After I clear the room a little bit. They don't want to go. Okay, you stand about right here. Shoot your sword and then push right quickly. You'll be looking like that and you just go right up. And we're going to be doing an even cooler trick, in my opinion, coming up. So far, so good. This room is so hard to keep them all at bay. There we go. I got hit by a bat, but since I'm wearing the blue tunic, I didn't take any damage. Cuts the damage you take in half. This room's really annoying. The breakfast room, little pancakes and jelly, and I don't know what else. I don't know which ones are jams. I don't know what those ghosts are supposed to be. Alright, so level 4 is going pretty well. Um, the idea for this episode, if I say on script, is going to be levels... We will be visiting levels 4, 5, and 7. Six is in the graveyard. We don't want to go there. Eight is in a good neighborhood. Just that dungeon itself is very hard. And the dungeon master, so-called. Why am I killing these guys? In the middle of talking. The dungeon master of eight is the same as this level four guy. Just even harder. And this guy could cause a problem. I'm doing great on health though, so we may not even have to use a potion. Okay, this one I don't always get correct. You want to stand about here, I think. And then push right again, and then go up. Okay, first try. So whenever you're standing in the perfect location, it looks like I press down or something, I don't. If I push right on the control pad, Link automatically goes down. And then he will be in perfect position to do the water clip, the block clip. And there's going to be screen scrolling here in just a little bit. So this episode's got all the all the hot tips. Subscribe now for all the newest Zelda. No. Okay, this guy could be a problem. Like, I'm so decked out with health, though. See how this guy's a problem? 
Okay, I swear, this guy... <laughs> okay, don't pick that up, you son of a bitch. That's... Okay, that guy, when I'm like... Pushing for time, he... He ends my run about as much as anything in this game. And if I don't get the ladder clip at a decent time, usually I'm stressed out anyways, like I'm... I'm in that tilt mode where anything could put me on tilt, and that dragon usually does. Okay, so we should be taking a trip down around the ocean, I think. Go ahead and get this money grab. I'm not sure when I started the recording. Should have paid attention to that. That's alright. Level 4 was real quick. And I've never done this challenge. So this is a first for me. I just have it all planned out, scripted in my head. And then, basically I'm just taking the run I've played over and over again. Down to your left, you can bomb and you can get a heart container or a potion. I can't grab a heart container and somehow I have a full bottle of wine right there. Just gotta find a corkscrew. The corkscrew I think is in dungeon 6. Next to the magic book. The magic catalog. There we go. Just took a little extra time there to get the bombs. This is a good path to take uh, to get those bomb drops. Because you need. I'm trying to think of how many you need. Feels like you need about eight for the next. Okay, here we'll be picking up the arrows. Right here, you want about 104 rupees. Or no, 140. I said 104 and I have 104. 140 rupees. That way you can buy the arrows. And then later on, you're going to need to buy the bait. That looks nice. Won't get it though. That one's random. They just wanted to reuse the screen layout. Up there. Another heart container. Another magic potion bottle. So if things start getting dire, which they will, you'll see me running frantically or I'll be doing it off camera to save time. Because I thought maybe even that boss that I just faced was going to take a medicine bottle to be able to beat. If you go left, that's how you get to Dungeon 5. One of the people in the game will tell you, up, up, up the mountain. That's your tip to go up four times. But here we're going to do a screen scroll. I want to be standing about right here, and I forget how to do it. <laughs> okay, it's like the same trick as both the water and the block clipping. The block clipping it's easier to use a sword. I think the other two tricks you don't. There we go. So yeah, you don't need to use your sword to get through. Whoops. Wow. Okay, so level five. There's gonna be Pretty mandatory block clip in this uh, dungeon. I didn't need to kill that guy. Like this run's gonna be rough because I pick up the magical sword. Um, we'll save on to those. Okay, this room here, it's dire that I get the block clip on the first try kinda okay they're over there that's good cuz you do not want to fight those guys normally you'd have to fight that whole freaking room I think it takes two bombs to kill him maybe and four sword hits okay this could be a problem I can go down and get extra bombs I don't know if I'll do that maybe I'll do that off screen 
Okay, this room could potentially pose a problem. Okay, that was good. Okay, one down at least. I guess by now I don't have the magical sword anyways, usually. I just usually have a, like nine or ten heart containers, I think. Makes it a lot less stressful. And these guys are cake with the magical sword. It takes two hits. It's basically like fighting the red dark nuts all over again. These guys move a little bit more swift. Unless it's my imagination. Okay, are we going to have to split this up into three parts here? Go ahead and stop right here, stop the episode here. Good lord. Okay. So that room really sucks for speedrunning. Just kind of go with the punches. I'm a little less cautious because, like I said, usually I have about 9 or 10 heart containers at this point. And you're able to free run a little bit more. And later on... I'm not sure what's going to happen later on. Okay, I don't need to do this, but I'm gonna. Could have just pushed it. Yeah, later on things are going to get tough. In level 6 and 8, when I usually have the magical sword and... Whoops, I took the wrong pattern. Because I forgot where I was. Alright, so we're doing perfect on bombs here. Didn't need to get hit there. I'll tell you that. Anybody got a... Heart? Can you just not... You bomb? You freaking bomb? <sighs> this room's not fun. Luckily, we don't need it. Go ahead and see if they have a heart. <sighs> Instead, I get hit by it. There we go. We ended up profiting a half a heart. Okay, this room, usually I skip, but there will be a key. Key. Where are we going, folks? Got this room full of goodies. Whoops. Fucking took the wrong way. These guys you can kill one shot with an arrow. I never knew that. I didn't know that growing up. That would have been helpful. And on, like, the Famicom, I think, or something, there's a controller. Like it says in the instruction manual that they hate sound. You'd think it's the whistle or the whatever it's called. I forget the name of it. But it's not. You like talk into the controller and they die. It's pretty cool. Alright, so anyways, here. We're going to drop a bomb. Blow the whistle. Recorder, I think it's actually called. And then drop a bomb. And he's dead. Don't pick that up. I wanted to. Instinct. <laughs> Instinct was pulling me to it like a magnet. I level 5 out of the way. Guess we got time for one more. Now we've got the recorder. 
hope I'm calling it that. Okay, I think left. Left twice, or maybe not. We want to be at Dungeon 3. Not Dungeon 3. How about... I think we skipped it. This is Dungeon 4. There's Dungeon 3. I did something wrong. It must be you looked right twice. Once again, these guys could drop some bombs. Now we're going to go back and revisit the shop. I think it's that. Or it's the shop right below it. Revisit the shop that sold me the ring. They have such bad deals there, but... I can't help it. Yeah, these guys are blue, but I don't believe they ever drop bombs. And then we got the bait. So that's all we need money-wise. There's a couple places in the dungeons where you can buy, for a hundred bucks, they give you extra bombs to carry. I might be doing some of that off camera. There's a few items in the dungeons I don't expect to pick up. This dungeon has... what does it have? I don't even know if I plan to pick up its item. There's a magic wand, the magic book, the magic key. Everything's magic in this game. Okay, I shouldn't have picked up that boomerang, because that's right. Now they all have silver boomerangs because I picked one up. <laughs> that was actually kind of a bad move on my part. If you don't pick up the silver boomerang, then they... don't become blue and have silver boomerangs of their own, so... I never knew that. That's something interesting to know. Because in this room, there's three red... whatever they're called. Guru or something. Guru. I don't think it's Guru. That's very interesting. So this will probably be the last time in this game... Well, there's some red ones there. This will probably be the last time I play this game and pick up the Silver Boomerang, to be honest with you. This guy, you just give him some bait. I think that's the only way through. Never heard of anything else. Maybe you can get through if you have the red candle. That's right. Oh shit. Really? This fucking sucks. Okay. Um, that's another thing we won't be picking up is the red candle. That's in dungeon 8. Get off here. I'll just call you Guru because I don't care. Might actually have to be using a potion bottle coming up. Here's some red guys. Whoops. I'd like a heart, no? That's alright, we'll go ahead and use potion. Get in there. Okay, this guy again. Which way are you going, buddy? Hopefully that's good enough. This dungeon, you need a lot of bombs to get through. Okay, nice pick up. If I can lure this guy over with and kill him with smoke, that'd be good. Nope, didn't want to. Okay, because they give the automatic bomb drop. This room really sucks. Wall masters take you all the way out. And these little fucking fuzzy little guys. So the wall masters come, you gotta try to hit them with your sword, but you can't because these things take it away. And if the wall master grabs you, you can't grab that, can't grab the clock. If you grab the clock, then the wall, mas wall masters don't come out and you can't push this block. It's really a huge ordeal. Something so simple like a room of wall masters and little jellies. No sir, it's not as easy as you think. Nice bomb drop. Okay. I don't think I need the potion here. Okay. Don't pick that up. Alright, this is where we will end this one. 
I got the Triforce! Alright, stayed on script on this one. Levels 4, 5, and 7 done. We might still have two episodes left. I don't think next one will be the finale. I've got the three very hard levels coming up. And nothing extra to use. Because you don't pick up the red ring until level 9. And you have to do that last. They won't let you in without all the other eight pieces of the Triforce. Alright. So on the next one. I shall return.